Hello everyone, welcome back to Time. My name is Deepika Kongi. In today's session, we'll solve the few of the questions of CAT P by Q. And I'll be solving only few questions like a, so we have the totally three slots, right? So from three slots, like selected topics, what the question, uh, the selected topics like algebra and modern maths related to that questions I'll be solving. So let's start with the questions so that see whatever I'm solving here, it will be helpful for you guys. So please grab your notebooks and uh, stay focused and the whatever the questions I'll be solving the the way of approach you just try to analyze it and understand it and uh, based on this in case of your upcoming exams it will be helpful for you guys okay so based because of that reason only few of the questions I'll be solving from the PYQs of the CAT okay so let's start with the questions this question is from the logarithms and uh, this is an one of the easiest question which is asked in 2024 okay so suppose if we know the basic rules of logarithms, then it is more than enough to solve this type of question, okay? So let's understand the question what he has given. If x is, a, x is a positive real number such that some logarithm expression is given and then the greatest integer which is not exceeding x is the question mark, okay? So we'll understand this concept afterwards, okay? So first we will simplify the logarithm and we'll get a value of the x here. Now, when we understand the logarithm, right, first analyze the question here. In case of logarithm, if uh, in between we were having the plus sign in the sense, the uh, base should be same, am I right? So in case of this question, here the base is given 10 and it is 100 and it is 1000. So base is not common. Since it is 10, 100 and 1000, it is a multiple of 10 in the sense, we can take it as a base as 10, okay? So uh, let's uh, simplify this. We'll write the first term as it is. 4 log x base 10 plus 4 log x 100 we can write it as 10 square right next 8 log x 1000 can be written as 10 q which is equal to 13 is given okay still if I observe the basis are not same here okay now in case of the first condition log x base 10 is given and in the second we were having the log x base 10 square is there Yes, as we know the power rule concept, in case of this question, to the base we were having the power, right? So log x, uh, take it as a this way, okay? So log a base b whole power m, okay? So now in case of this, log a to the base b and to the base b we were having the power, okay? You might be aware about this, when we have a power to the base, it will get multiplied, but what the condition we have to take, it has to be taken as a reciprocal, right? So this can be written as, what I'm saying is, uh, the, to the base B, we were having the power M. So M's reciprocal is 1 by M, so then we can write it as a 1 by M into log A base B is as it is. So in this given question, we are going to use this one concept here, okay? So based on that, let's write the first condition as it is, because there is no power over here, which means it is 10 power 1. Uh, simply we will take it as a log x base 10 and the next plus 4 log x base 10 and to the base 10 we were having the power 2 2's reciprocal is 1 by 2 1 by 2 if I multiply with the 4 which gives us a straightforward like a 4 by 2 plus 8 log x and 10 the base is having the power 3 again the 3's reciprocal is 1 by 3 if I multiply 1 by 3 with the 8, it becomes a 8 by 3, which gives us a 13 anta, right? So now once we, we observe here, this term, overall log term is getting common. So let's take the log x base 10 as it is, that means which is common here. Then remaining any dala, then as it is copy mark. 4 plus 4 by 2 is 2 plus 8 upon 3, which is equal to 13. Okay, next log x base 10, 4 plus 2 gives us a 6 and 6 plus 8 by 3 we have to take the LCM. So 6 plus 8 upon 3, LCM is 3, 3 6 is 18, 18 plus 8 gives us 26 which is equal to 13, right? And remember this, it is entirely the separate term here. So we can cancel out this 13 and 26, 13 twos are. Okay, so if further if I simplify, What we have left with this equation is log x base 10 
into 2 upon 3 which is equal to 1 ok. Now if you want if you further if you want to simplify further you can simplify this way uh, take the log term one side which is log x base 10 and it is 3 by 2 ok. As we know the logarithms rule convert this logarithm to the indices format because we want to find the value of x here. So to the base 10 the power is 3 by 2 then the result will be what x here. Still this is not, not the final answer because what the question is saying we need to find the greatest integer which is not exceeding the x ok. Now 10 power 3 by 2 we are getting. Now if I use the calculate, calculators also you may get the approximate values here fine we will simplify this further. So since if I separate the 3 by 2 as a 3 into 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is a root right like uh, 1 by 2 is we can take it as a root. So it is just simply root over 10 cube which is nothing but root over 1000 am I right. So root over 1000 in the sense it is a uh, see uh, 30 square is 900 in the sense 31 square you may take nearer it is a 3, 96, 961. So this 961 is very much nearer to 1000. But in case of this question he is asking greatest integer which is not exceeding. See this 1000 is root over 1000 is approximately we will get the 31 point something ok this 31 point uh, it may be 5 or 6 uh, ok approximately we will take it as a 31.6. As the question is the greatest integer of that which is not exceeding the x since he is asking us to find the greatest integer right. So in case of this question we can take the greatest integer as 31. So this is the final answer for this question. I hope it is clear.